Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 F-150. We're going to be talking about the King Ranch trim level here on this. We're doing a complete guide videos and we've covered about all of the different uh, ones. We have come to the King Ranch edition. So we've covered the XL, XLT, STX, which is in the middle now. Uh, also covered the Lariat trim uh, re more recently. And now we've come to the King Ranch edition. Uh, so we're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages available and standalone options for this trim level. So uh, it's an educational video for you. So feel free to kind of move around, use the timestamps down below, and we'll have timestamps for different parts of the video. So use those to move around on this to get the information you're needing. And don't forget, order banks are open up right now. So you can order a King Ranch Edition 2024 F-150 production starts in like first of the year late December, first of the year for these. So you can go ahead and uh, get these orders in for you. So um, so this help, does help you out. So hopefully it does. And we're going to have some helpful tips when putting that, placing that order with your local dealer if you want a custom order uh, at the end of the video. And also we are taking orders. So if you want to learn a little bit about our YouTube special, well, that'll be at the end of the video as well. Timestamps are going to be down below for that. So we're going to, of course, don't forget if you like videos like this, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you have that notification turned on and all that good stuff like that so you don't miss any of our videos as we go through this. We have this one, the Platinum to do, and then at some point the trimmer will be available to order. And when that is available, we'll do the trimmer uh, trim as well. So let's dive in and uh, we're going to use Ford's building price for this. So we're going to talk about the mechanical features uh, that are standard equipment for the King Ranch edition. So let's go on over here and go to Ford's building price, Ford.com. Right now, the 24 model year is up here as a teaser, but as things go progress throughout the year, that might move. So let me show you where we can get to that. Uh, if you go to vehicles, trucks and vans, and you go to F-150. Now, right now, we're seeing 23 build in price because there's enough 23 still on dealer lots that that is still available for you to do. But if we click on this preview F-150, eventually they'll take the 23 off and then we'll see this and your building price button is right down here on this. So you can actually get the overview of things there and everything like that. But we'll just click on the building price here. Uh, acknowledge that there are some supply issues on the F-150 really aren't too many. Uh, now we have covered in our videos, the XL, the STX, the XLT. Trimmer is a late availability. It is not something we can order right now. Lariat trim we covered just recently, and now we've come to the King Ranch. We'll still be covering the Platinum and the uh, the Raptor as well. almost forgot about the Raptor. So we're going to talk about the King Ranch Edition. These are standard. Only cab configuration for you on this one is the Super Crew configuration. Uh, as you can see there, if we try doing Super Cab, we have three versions available, XL, STX, and XLT. So if you're wanting Super Cab, check out one of those videos where I cover all the, stand, the, the equipment. If you're wanting a regular cab, XL is your only choice. So kind of clarify that. So S, uh, Super Crew is the only configuration here. These are going to come standard four-wheel drive for the King Ranch Edition and should be available. Let me actually look at my notes here. Should be available in a five-and-a-half-foot bed. Oh, there's a lot of standard equipment. Give, give me a second here. Um, it is available in either the five-and-a-half-foot box or the six-and-a-half-foot box. So either one of those, but four-by-four four only. Not Cannot get a two-wheel drive King Ranch Edition. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do five and a half foot box and we're going to build that. Click on that button. There we go. There it goes. So we're going to talk about the powertrain options first of what's standard equipment. So according to Ford, standard is a 3.5 V6 EcoBoost engine with auto start stop technology. Uh, so that is the most powerful engine. they have. Well, one of the most powerful engines they have. 10 speed elect uh, electronic 10 speed automatic transmission select shift with a progressive range as well. And for the four-wheel drive system, it's a two-speed automatic four-wheel drive. So it allows you to put in the auto four-by-four mode and with neutral tow capabilities as well. So um, now this is four-by-four. So your drive modes on this are going to be normal, eco, sport, tow haul, slippery, deep sand, snow, sand, mud rut mode as well. Fully boxed steel frame like last year. Uh, of course, aluminum uh, alloy body on the outside. We do also have front independent suspension, fail safe cooling system here. We have the uh, electric parking brake with auto hold feature as well. We do have hill start assist that allow you, if you're on a hill, to, to start the vehicle without it drifting back on you. Front stabilizer bar and the, the uh, shocks 
on this are heavy duty front and rear shocks. The rear ones will be mounted on the outside of those leaf springs. Speaking of springs, in the back will be a rear leaf springs. Front will be uh, coil springs up there. And we do have power rack and pinion steering as well. And something we haven't seen in the others, that's standard equipment on this one, is a continuously controlled dampening suspension. So that is going to, a nice suspension system, give you a great ride. Imperfections in the road, it's going to automatically uh, control the dampening system for that, for the best ride possible. Uh, now, we will get into some of these optional equipment in just a little bit. And we'll get into, we'll cover gear ratios and such, which you can see here, 3.5. Uh, electronic locking gear ratio is standard equipment with that 3.5 EcoBoost. Um, and we'll get into options in just a little bit. When you go to the power boost, it's automatically going to be the 373. So that is the only optional engine. Again, we'll get into options in a little bit and we'll cover engines gear ratios during that part of the video. So now let's get into some of the uh, safety features here. So these are a lot of the same safety features. In fact, all the same safety features we've had on all the other F-150s uh, to this point. So if you watched any of my other videos, now is where you can hit that timestamp down there by uh, when you're on a desktop computer or your phone. Uh, going forward to the exterior features if you want, but for those that are only watching this one, let's tell you what you're, what's included as safety features here on the King Ranch Edition. You have the front uh, driver and front passenger uh, dual stage front airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. We have a driver and passenger side uh, seat mounted side impact airbag that's going to deploy from the side of the seat to help protect those occupants from those side collisions in those A and B pillars. We do have safety canopy side curtain airbags uh, for both the front and uh, second row that deploy down from the roof line to help protect from breaking glass coming in and hurting anybody from sheet metal, glass, and that stuff breaking with a rollover sensor. We do have advanced track with roll stability control with curve control to help you keep you on your intended path. Maybe you go into that curve a little too fast. Maybe it's stuck outside. It's going to use brakes really quickly around the vehicle to help keep you on your intended path. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, Forward collision warning, dynamic brake support, including also post collision braking with that. So what this is going to do is if it's, uh, it's sensing if there's a car in front of you and they're going slower than you or maybe they're stopped and you would at your current speed, you would hit them. It's going to alert you and let you know with that di the uh, sensors It's going to go off uh, the 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 uh, tones that are going to be very loud. So, you know, that you need to stop. Uh, even uh, detects pedestrians and preloads those brakes. So when you hit those brakes, it's going to stop even faster. And I think with this, since it does have the adaptive cruise control, will actually stop the vehicle if you don't hit your brakes as well. Post-collision braking means if you don't put it in park, whatever, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident. SOS, post-crash alert system. So if you are out the side of the road, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, so people know you need to come to your safety. Um, we do have lane keeping system which is going to help you keep you in your lane. Uh, whether you have the cruise or not activated, as long as lane keeping system is activated, you have an alert feature and you have an aid feature. So if you have it set to alert, uh, what it's going to do is when you cross over that line, it'll let you cross over the line, but it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've crossed over that line. The aid system will help go over to that line and try to keep you in your uh, lane there. You can use these together. There is a, a alert with the aid. And it'll still try to keep you keep you in your lane, but it'll vibrate the stream well if you get to that line. And then there's also a driver alert feature of, as part of this that can be activated and deactivated that, that basically will alert you if you're taking your hands off the stream well too often. So um, we do also have parameter alarm. So when you lock that vehicle up, leave the vehicle, it's going to help set that perimeter alarm. So if someone tries to shake the vehicle, get inside, break the glass, that kind of stuff, it's going to set the alarm off. Honk the horns, flash the lights so that people know that someone's trying to break into your car, truck, actually. Uh, also, secure the lock, passive, and the theft system so only the coded key can start the vehicle. We also have stolen vehicle services. It's a one-year plan. This is new for this year. Don't know a lot about it yet. Uh, but we assume just by the name that if someone steals your vehicle, it'll, it'll help locate your vehicle and uh, and give that information to, uh, I assume, the law enforcement and such. So, all right. That's the safety features for us. Now let's uh, dive over here and go into some of the exterior. All right. So we're going to use these images here to show go over the exterior of the vehicle. Starting here at the front of the vehicle, we do have a, uh, the grill up here, as you can notice, is a chrome grill. 
on the front um, and with the bronze accents throughout there. You can kind of see those going in there in the middle there. Uh, real nice look to it here. Um, the bumpers, uh, we do have the the bumpers here. They're going to be two tone. So you're you're going to have kind of that bronze. It's not actually saying what color it is, but it's just this painted two tone on here for your front bumpers. You're going to see that chrome down here on the, the skid plate down there too. Um, and then the front face shape here, which is right below the grill, it runs under there, will still be body colored for you. Um, and then you will have also front tow hooks will be chrome as well down there. LED projector headlights with dynamic bending headla headlamps, which means dynamic bending means that when you turn the steering wheel, it's lighting your intended path. So it's uh, they're saying it's, it's a bending headlight. Uh, but basically, I like to say it just lights up your intended path. So as you're steering into that curve, it's going to kind of light up where the steering wheel is going. Also, LED fog lights with LED cornering lights and LED signature lighting. So they're different for this year. So you can see that light coming across and the other one coming down on the side. And then also down there, LED fog lights, LED automatic, uh, we mentioned projector uh, headlights there. Uh, automatic feature means you have an auto setting. They'll come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Also, daytime running lights that can be configured to be on during the daytime if you want. And usually it'll use the signature lighting for that daytime running lights. Also, you do have the auto High beams too, so that means they're going to come on when it's dark enough outside. Those high beams will come on. Someone approaches you in a city lights, it'll shut them off. So that's uh, something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section as well as your configurable daytime running lights. Um, and then also rain lamp, wiper activated headlights. So if you have your wipers on, headlights will come on. So uh, that helps out with that too. Rain sensing wipers as well. So when you have one of those intermittent settings and rain sensing wipers activated in your wiper section of your vehicle settings screen, it's going to turn those wipers on. As it starts to rain faster or harder, I should say, the wipers will wipe faster. Um, unique hood with inserts. So you can't really see it here. Maybe we can get a better view of this. Or maybe not. Uh you can kind of see it on this image. There's some vents up here. So it'll be a unique hood for the King Ranch Edition. We'll see that when we carry over to Platinum. I think also on the Tremor when it's available. Uh, but you're going to have a unique hood that's going to be different than it is from XLT Lariat Trim. 360 gig camera as well. So that way you're going to be able to see completely around the vehicle. Uh, cameras underneath each of those uh, side mirrors on the front as well as the back so you can get a 360 view including trailer reverse guidance so it uses these these uh, these mirrors or these cameras over here so when you're backing a trailer you can see uh, it looks like you can see right along that trailer so you can kind of see beside it so you can see what's going on there so it's pretty nice now moving to the side we do have this uh chrome uh, wheels 20 inch chrome wheel with the king ranch center caps in there just like we've had in the past uh, so real nice chrome wheels. You do have a 275-60R20 uh, all-season or all-terrain tires for this on your 4x4s. You um, do have tire pressure monitoring system as well, four-wheel disc brakes with ABS as well, and then the King Ranch fender badge as well that's going to be dedicated to the King Ranch and for that particular vehicle with, that's going to be chrome accented there. You'll see two-tone down the side of the vehicle. You get a different image. There you go. You can see that two-tone uh, right there. I should be selecting uh, for paint colors. I should be selecting white. Everybody gets white on the King Ranch, right? So <laughs> we'll go to that there. Anyway, um, the mirrors here are, yeah, um, let's go back to this other image real quick first. You'll see body colored mirror cap on that. I call that the skull cap. Power folding feature, which means that and with including auto fold. So it'll fold against the glass. And when you lock it, it'll fold those in. Power uh, glass and heat on the glass too. Turn signal indicator on the outside over here. So people know what you're wanting to turn. You have driver memory for the mirrors. It's going to be included with some of the other driver memory features. Auto dimming rear view mirror on this driver side mirror. So cars want to pass you in those the passing lane. It'll dim that mirror. A high intensity LED security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside you. Um, and LED um, side view mirror uh, spotlights as well over here. You can uh, you can cast those out as well. And those approach lamps, those security approach lamps, will be the ones you use for the side to light up the side of the vehicle with that zone lighting. So you're going to have zone lighting on this that lights up all four zones, front, back, and both sides for you there. Um, and it uses the LED signature lighting and lights up here as well as the LED backup lights in the back and the tailgate light to light up all around the vehicle. So you can use your app or the screen inside the vehicle there. So um, also 
On the mirrors, uh, we'll have your bliss with cross traffic alert. So that's your blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Cross traffic alert. Someone's going to cross your path, traf, your path behind you. will also uh, alert, alert you and let you know that series of tones that you need to stop and look on the backup camera. You're going to see which direction they're going from and going to. Uh, and I haven't men mentioned this in the other videos, but the bliss, if you have a trailer, will also include the blind spot of your trailer. So um, forgotten to put that in there. It's not in the order guide, but you're going to have that as well. Your uh, door handles um, in the order guide is saying they're going to be chrome, chrome door handles. This is showing body colored. Usually the order guide's correct, so I'm not sure on that. Uh, we do have intelligent access that allows you to be able to put that key fob in your pocket. Walk up, put your hands in the door handles, unlock the vehicle. Also has approach detection. That's going to light that security approach lamp. Also security code uh, keypad on the, the pillar there too. Uh, so you can set that keypad. And remote start with that remote. So if it's close enough proximity, you can remote start the vehicle using the remote. And remote tailgate release as well. Uh, that'll allow that to go down and actually up as well, which we'll get into when we get to the bed utility package. It's standard equipment on the King Ranch Edition. So power deployable running boards. You can see Chrome Accent on the side of those as well. That'll deploy down and up, and it even has a little button. So if your vehicle's locked up, but you just need to lower that down so you can get to the back, you can press um, press that with your foot, and it's going to lower that, that power deployable board down. Uh, easy fuel capros filler doors, so no cap to leave, uh, loo, leave behind get, or get your hands or anything like that. Just put that nozzle in when you're ready to uh, fill it up and then uh, put it away when you're done. 36-gallon fuel tank is going to be standard equipment. If you have a power boost, it will be 26-gallon, so make sure you know that. Um, all right, moving to the back. We do have on the back of the cab there a cargo lamp, a center high-mounted stoplight as well that's integrated into the back. Power sliding rear window with rear defrost and privacy glass on the back glass and back windows. Um, we also do have on the bumper is going to be two-tone as well. We do have reverse sensing back here. Rear view camera we talked about already. So as you're backing up, it's going to break the vehicle or it's going to alert you and let you know there's somebody back there. If you don't stop, reverse brake assist. That will stop the vehicle so you don't have to get in an accident. We do have trailer tow um, hitch back here, so standard equipment. So it's going to be class four receiver hitch. You get the four pin, seven pin wiring, smart trailer tow connector. We do get trailer sway control, even has an LED light back here so you can be able to see behind you. You also get trailer pro trailer hitch assist, which allows you to be able to hitch up that trailer a little bit easier using that dial. Uh, when you tell it that you, are hit, you don't have a, a, a trailer connected, it's going to use that dial to allow, allow you to kind of back up to that trailer. Did a video on this at the New York Auto Show. Pretty cool system. Use that same dial for the pro trailer backup assist. So when you have a trailer connected, it's going to use that dial and your camera to be able to just control your trailer and back it up. Um, we also have a chrome tip single exhaust. It's on the passenger side towards the back over there. Uh, spare tire carrier as well with your spare tire that's underneath the frame. Uh, you do, uh, with your jack, you'll have an extension. You just put that in this little hole that's right there in the back. Uh, it does have a cap on it, so you don't have to see that. But you just put that in there and lower that spare tire down. Uh, so uh, the power tailgate lock. So when you lock the doors, locks the tailgate. King Ranch badging on the back, as you can see right there. Um, and then let's see what else. Uh, removable tailgate, so you can remove that if you want to. And I mentioned the LED tailgate light as well already inside the bed we're going to have storage boxes on both sides over there um, actually just on the passenger side because on the other side you're going to have the pro power on board power two two kilowatt for the three five eco boost if you go with that power boost which is optional it'll come with a 2.4 kilowatt of, of power back there in the back and then also four tie downs around the inside the vehicle too and that zone lighting that i already talked to you about all right, now moving to the interior of the vehicle. We do have in here scuff plates. They're unique metallic front ones for the King Ranch Edition. Uh, illuminated entry as well. You have fade to off interior lighting as well in there. And ambient lighting that'll be the ice blue color that'll light up your you know footwells, cup holders, and such like that too. Uh, now for the King Ranch Edition, you will have unique King Ranch wood trim in here. 
You can see that on the doors over here on the side, uh, right over there. You can kind of see it in that image there. You're going to see it on the slide, the lid for the media hub area there too. So real nice, unique trim. Also, your, uh, of course, your console cover will have the King Ranch logo and special leather trim on there, as well as your shifter knob will have that same type of leather and your armrest for your doors. Let me go back to that. Uh, right over here as well. So nice leather trim in the vehicle. Now your seats in here. Bucket seats with the console, as you can see there. Multi-contoured leather bucket seats with the King Ranch badging on those. You can see that there as well as even on the back ones. Heated and ventilated seats. 10-way power driver's seat with the power lumbar and memory for the driver. 8-way power passenger seat and power lumbar for the passenger seat. And we do have storage in, inside that console as well. Now on the back, you'll have leather seats back there as well. 60-40 split seat there for that seat cushion to come up if you need to uh, with under seat storage, as you can see there. Heated seat for the two outbound seats back there too, an armrest that comes down with cup holders in there as well. On the back of the console, you're going to have, should have two USB ports as well as an outlet behind the console. Um, yeah, we've covered everything else there. Now, for the windows, you have power windows, front and rear, one touch up and down feature for the driver and front passenger windows. So that means you don't have to hold it. You just hard press it down. It's going to roll it down, pull it up till you feel that click, and it'll do the same thing coming up there too. Power door locks uh, as well. You're going to have that keyless uh, special key fobs in there for you uh, for the intelligent access because uh, you will have push button start when you get inside. Power adjustable pedals with memory as well. So those pedals will go forward and back, back for you and uh, be included in your driver memory features to memorize the position that you had it in. Uh, leather wrapped heated steering wheel as well is going to be included. Uh, you will have power uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronic can go up and down, forward and back. Hold on a second. Let me look at my notes here. Yep, I believe so there. All right. Um, and then we do have, of course, steering wheel controls in here. We have adaptive cruise control as standard equipment on this, including stop and go, lane centering, speed sign recognition. So let's talk about all those. Adaptive cruise allows you a little bit different than the traditional cruise. Set that gap. If you come behind somebody, they're going slower than you. You're going to slow you down to go their speed, even bring you to complete stop and get you going again. Also, uh, keep help keep you in the center of your lane with that lane centering system. And then also... The speed sign recognition will recognize your speed signs. So if you're set, set that cruise and let's say you're a person that likes it, you know, likes to go five over, you can set that tolerance at plus five. And if you're going in a 70, let's say you're in a 70 mile an hour zone and you're going 75 and that speed zone changes to 65, maybe it's construction, a slower speed zone, whatever. It's just going to slow you down to go 70. Pretty nice in how that works. Um, and then also we do have the hardware for the blue cruise, including a 90 day free trial for the blue cruise that's your hands-free driving including the new blue cruise 1.2 that allows you to be able to change your lanes without you having to take over the steering wheel just use a turn signal and it'll switch lanes for you in lane reposition as well so you have that big semi beside you that's hugging that line it'll reposition you in that lane as well Pretty cool that new Blue Cruise has really been updated. Now, productivity screen through here is going to be a 12-inch productivity screen on all of your F-150s, including the King Ranch. You'll have a compass display. You'll have outside temperature display. Of course, all your gauges, fuel, oil pressure, your transmission temp, your engine coolant, temperature gauges, speedometer, tachometer, all that's through there as well. And uh, you do also have heads-up display that will display that. You can actually see that through that through the glass on there, you can see where that's at on the dash to display that up there. So your navigation, speed, all that stuff is going to be on the glass so you don't have to look down at things and see what's going on. You also do get your push button start back there so you can start that. Dual zone climate control so the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures for your climate. BNO Unleashed sound system. Uh, I have in here that is 14 speakers including a subwoofer by Bang & Olufsen, HD radio as well is all included in that. Uh, Sync 4 system with the 12-inch screen here with the information on demand. So you can just, there's going to be a section right over here. You can just swipe that over. Like right now, you're actually seeing navigation here, which you're going to get for one-year trial for free. And then uh, sign up for subscription. Navigation is the only thing of, uh, on that that's get a, that gets a, is on a trial. Everything else, you're going to have all those features. 
But if the radio, which is what's over there now, you just swipe that over and it's going to swipe it over and switch places. So the navigation moves to that right panel. So that's why it's called information on demand. 911 assist as well. The wireless Android op uh, Android Auto or wireless wireless Apple CarPlay, whichever phone you have, digital owner's manual as well. So that's going to be right there. Your uh, easy to use and everything right there. So pretty nice features to have there. Uh, we do also get rear view mirror is going to be auto dimming, so no lever to worry about. It's going to automatically dim that mirror. Come cars get behind you with those bright lights. On your visors, they flip down illuminated covered vanity mirrors. As well, you're going to have universal garage door openers on the driver's side mirror uh, or visor, I should say, up there. So that way you can program three different transmitters uh, to those buttons, including most people who do those garage door openers. You do have twin panel moonroof as well. It's included in here. You can actually don't have, I can't actually show you images of that. Twin panel moonroof, there you go. Power sunshade as well. It actually has the cover on there. It'll go back halfway, hit it again, goes back all the way. The glass also opens up, so it splits that glass in half. So pretty cool. Uh, that's standard equipment on the King Ranch. Um, in the Media Hub area, go back to this. Down in here, you're going to have two U USB ports down in there. You'll have two more up in here as well as a PowerPoint. Uh, so plenty of ways to power devices, including a wireless charging pad. Also going to be included in that as part of the uh, mobile office package, uh, which we're talking about just a little bit. And you're going to have Ford Pass Connect 5G Wi-Fi hotspot up to 10 different devices. Um, that's where you can connect your vehicle from anywhere. Um, you can remote start your vehicle. You can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can schedule remote start times. Uh, you can locate your vehicle. You can also see the tire pressure on your tires, the fuel you have in your vehicle, all that through that app. That app is free, free of charge. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, as well so and then there are three standard packages on the king ranch edition that are that are standard equipment that is your bed utility package um, that's included uh, the tow haul package and the mobile office package uh, so let me talk about colors and then we'll talk about those different packages because i did videos earlier and some other videos that go over those packages but first let's talk about the different paint colors here for us uh, so going up to paints and oh let's talk about interior first uh, this is your color of interior. This is your your only option. So Java interior, uh, that is gives you that Kingsville. I believe they still call it Kingsville leather interior, uh, but special interior. This is a color of interior and floor liners, floor uh, floor mats. I should say with the King Ranch emblem. Didn't mention that. Uh, I'm not sure why uh, it wasn't thrown in the order guide. But you will have carpeted flooring with those carpeted mats. They're going to be included with your King Ranch edition as well. So interior color, there's that's your option. Now. Out exterior colors, we do have uh, five options here. We do have the, the gate black, as you can see here. So black with the two-tone there. We do also have the antimatter blue available. Uh, we also have carbonized gray. That's available. Carbonized gray with the two-tone. Not sure I like that. And then the rapid red is an extra four ninety five dollars for that color. That's a pretty popular with the uh, two-tone. And then white's the most popular for these customers the star white is a thousand dollars is three coats of paint to give it that nice effect and look on it uh also have the four by four badging forgot to mention that but those are your color options for this year that are available uh now i want to do is now i'm going to play you three different clips for the different standard packages so first one is down that bed utility package and what's included in that package i recorded this in a uh a video on the xlt uh, but you can uh, you'll get all the the features that are included in that tow haul package as well that's going to be standard on this and the mobile office package. So all three of those packages we're going to play those clips back to back to back here. Um, if you want if you've already seen those in some of the other videos again use the timestamps to move forward from there. Now let's talk about the bed utility package and now uh, this package here uh, is uh, available uh, optional on the XLT and the Lariat trim standard on King Ranch Platinum and the Raptor. So. Uh, here's what's included, uh, depending on what, of course, uh, trim level you have. Uh, so the XLTs, uh, as it says here in the trimmer 401As, you're going to get the tailgate step included in this. So that allows you to be able to kick that tailgate step out of the top of the tailgate and down so you can get in the truck a little bit easier. You're getting the tailgate work surface. You can kind of see it on the back of this tailgate right here. Has some tape measure and some other stuff and so allows you to work on top of that and not have like little grooves in the tailgate like you would have without it. Uh, we also do have the box link system 
Uh, so the box link is going to allow you to be able to put those different cleats in the side over there of the bed. It will also still, uh, yeah, gives you the locking cleats that come with that. So it's those plates there for you. LED box lighting as well. So that's going to light up the bed. So it has some uh, LED lights on these corners. You can kind of see it right there and allow you to light up the bed in there. So that's going to be included on all trim levels. Uh, but if you go up to the lair, if you have a lariat, um, then you're also going to get the six inch extended running boards with this package, uh, allow you to be able to step into the, the bed a little bit easier, especially in the, uh, but between here. Also, you're going to get the power tailgate with this. So this, uh, power tailgate is also included in the King Ranch and Platinum, by the way, too. Um, for those uh, those trim those trim levels as well, power tailgate allows you to be able to uh, power it down and power it back up. So, and also the Raptor gets the power tailgate too. Now, I do want to take note here: the multi-access tailgate that's been advertised is a late availability. It's not even on the order guide yet. So, if you're ordering it with the time of record the recording of this. It is not going to be available, but will be available on King Ranch in Platinum and Trimmer 402A um when it is available so you'll notice you'll also get that on those different trim levels so there you go bed utility package pretty nice if you're uh, wanting to do some some of these little different things to help utilize your bed a little bit more now let's talk about the tow haul package now this package as it says is standard on king ranch and platinum uh included also in the trimmer high 402a uh, but is is available on several other other trim levels including the xlt and the lariat tram trimmer 401a uh and some of those others so let's talk about first off the features of this package that are included in your xlt uh, equipment group as well as stx and xl and that is you're going to get the trailer brake controller with this so you can kind of see it over there that allows you to be able to uh, break that trailer a little bit helps you out on those hills and saves your brakes on the truck a little bit more um also you're going to get upgraded with this, getting the electronic locking gear ratio. If you haven't already upgraded with any other package, you're going to get a, an e-locker for this too. 355 for the 35 EcoBoost or 373 if you go with the 5.0 liter V8 engine or the 35 Power Boost, a full hybrid uh, motor there. Now, keep in mind, this isn't available with the 2.7 liter engine. Also does upgrade your rear bumper. As you can tell, this, is, this basically combines your tow package and your Max Trailer Tow Package from last year. Uh, so this is the new Max Trailer Tow Package option here for you. Now, if you go uh, with the Lariat trim here, uh, you're also uh, Lariat King Ranch and Platinum, I should say, with 701 or 702. Um, you're going to get everything from that we've already talked about, but you're also going to get the onboard scales and smart hitch with this package. Um, so you're going to get also upgraded to those two, uh, which is nice. The onboard scales allows you to be able to weigh things in your bed. So you can see it inside if you're sitting in there, but if you're on the outside loading it up, you can use those tail lights to monitor that as well. And the smart hitch as well, that's going to go along with that, allowing you to, to hook up your hitch and tell by the weight on the hitch on how heavy and what your your truck load can can bear and such like that. So that's pretty cool how that's included as well. Now, if you have the 303A equipment group um, in the Tremor, um, then it includes everything from the XLT, including the smart scales and uh, or onboard scales and smart hitch, but it does remove the, the axle upgrade and removes the upgraded rear bumper. Uh, just something to note on those particular trim levels for that too. And of course you can upgrade uh, to the 373 e-locker if you need to for the 35 EcoBoost. So that is showing as optional equipment. So there you go, the tow haul mode, uh, kind of a new package for this year, but really includes, it's that that tow package and max for the tow from last year. Now let's talk about the mobile office package. And this package, uh, you know, is optional on your XLT 301 and 302A equipment groups, as well as your Lariat 3501A equipment group, but it's standard on your XLT 303A equipment group, as well as a Lariat 502A equipment group, King Ranch Platinum, and Raptor. So some of these uh, will come along with that. Now, on your uh, course, uh, on your STX, we're going to kind of break it down from there. You're getting the console work surface like you're seeing him use right here. You're also getting 400 watt outlets and the cab and bed. So you're going to have a 400 watt outlet there as well as one in the bed. Now, when you go on up to the XLT 301A, uh, we'll include all those, but you're also going to get bucket seats here. 
So now you're going to get, uh, actually, this would be the one with the bucket seats um, right there. So you're going to get that. Also, you're going to get partitioned lockable rear storage for your Super Crew models, too. So you're going to get that. That's going to be underneath those rear seats back there. Now, uh, as it mentions here, the XLT Mid 302A and XLT High 303A Tremor, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and Raptors will also get wireless charging as well. Um, so you're going to get wireless charging, too. So... Uh, that's going to be also included on that. So, yeah. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Now, bucket seats are standard. Don't forget on some of your XLT packages uh, and Tremor and Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and, and Raptor. So and keep that in mind. You're going to usually get that. Also, it reminds you here, too, that the Tremor uh, 402A, King Ranch, Platinum, 701, and 702, and Raptor, 801, 802, they would get the 2-kilowatt Pro Power on board. That would replace your 400 watt outlet. So on those particular trim levels, and then of course when you we get the power boost, you're going to get standard 2.4 in kilowatt pro power on board instead of 400 watt outlet. So keep that in mind uh, for that. But that inc includes uh, some great features within that package. Now we're going to talk about packages. Um, we of course already talked about earlier that the bed utility the tow hall and the mobile office package are standard equipment those are included here now we also do have the fx4 off-road package it's a thousand dollars that package is also available too um and you know what i did a video on this before but I, let's just go ahead and do it for the king ranch edition and uh since it could be a little bit different so for the king ranch edition fx4 off-road package uh, is going to include some of these features so uh, for this in here, you are. This is going to get get you the off road capabilities for your King Ranch edition. A lot of you probably might be taking your King Ranches off road. Uh, so let's go over uh, some of this now. If you have the EcoBoost engine, it'll be the 331 electronic locking gear ratio, which you you get an ear, uh, e locker, but it was we talked about it was 355. I think is standard equipment, so it'll be 331 there uh, for the Power Boost. It's actually showing that it's available in the Power Boost. So let me just double check my notes here. Um, Oh, by the way, this package is not available with the 22-inch wheel, which is optional, and removes the CCD, the Continuous Control Dampening Suspension, if you go with this package or with this, yeah, with this package. Um, not showing. Let me grab my notes here for this package. Um, it does look like here that the uh, doesn't mention the power boost uh, being available here, so we don't see that as an option here. I, I think, yes, it is available on the Power Boost. It doesn't change your gear ratio. So that's the difference there. You're going to get the 373 E locker on the Power Boost. So that's why not, we're not seeing it here. And it kind of threw me off for a second. So this is available with either one of those two engines. Uh, just so you know that, which we're going to get into those optional engines in just a second. You're going to get your 4x4 FX4 off road decal on the side. You also get floor liners with this in here. So you'll get uh, floor liners included in the King Ranch edition. Um, so those will be thrown in as well. You're going to get hill descent control. So that allows you a little bit different than hill start assist. That's going up a hill. But if you're coming down a hill, hill descent control will help control your speed coming down. Off-road tune uh, front shock absorbers with the monotube rear shocks. So upgraded shocks here for off-road capabilities. You're also going to get your skid plate to cover that fuel tank, transfer case, and front differential. And you get a rock crawl mode. So in the past, we only saw that on like the Raptor, uh, available on the Raptor and like your Tremor. Now they're throwing that in as part of the FX4 off-road package, which I think is great as well. Now, if you get the V6 EcoBoost engine, comes with the 331, you can upgrade, as you mentioned, as it mentions here, to the 355 e-locker as well. Uh, so that's an option to be able to keep that 355 if you want. So uh, there you go. But I think you would have to add that as an option. So there you go. FX4 off-road package is the only other optional package. Those other three are included in this. Now let's talk about some different uh, options here for you. And we're going to start off by going over back over to the powertrain and first talk about the optional engine. So the 3.5 power boost full hybrid is optional equipment for you. So you get uh, that is going to be included. Uh, you, it's a $1,900 upcharge, but uh, last year they had a $1,900 discount for this. So basically you got the power boost for free. Uh, so the power boost will come with the hybrid electronic 10 speed automatic transmission included in that. And when you go power boost, you're going to get the 373 electronic locking gear ratio. So the other, only other option on that is that if you go, it is showing the, the, if you want to 
if you FX four, we talked about that, uh, get to the three thirty one, but you would then upgrade to the three fifty five to keep it if you want that with that FX four package. It also mentions a tow haul. Um, that's a gear ratio with the tow haul where you might have to add that. So anyway, there's some different gear ratios for you there. Um, so pretty simple on that one. So normally in some of the other ones, there's other motors and other gear ratios to cover, but this one is pretty simple. Uh, 355 for the, you know, your EcoBoost or 373 for your power boost. So those are your options for your different axles. Uh, now we're going to get into some standalone options here and, um, and, uh, give me just a second. Let me go down here to these packages and we'll start covering these. So let's talk about some standalone options here. And uh, we're starting here on the X year with this wheel. So we do have an optional wheel. It's a 22 inch chrome wheel. It's 1125 here. And some things to note on this wheel here, it is premium painted with chrome insert wheel, requires the 3.5 power boost hybrid engine, which I'm surprised it didn't ask us to add that. Not available with the FX4 off-road package or the 157 inch wheelbase. So not available with the six and a half foot bed basically and also if uh because tow haul package is included as standard equipment would remove the upgraded rear bumper if you go to this wheel so things to note if you do that dealer may not tell you that want to make sure you know all those different things so as we go through these if there's any like restrictions on some of these we're going to let you know uh just so you so you know what's going on here now some of these options as we start talking the, about these are Ford accessory options that they install at the factory and will come with your vehicle. Some of these are what they call a dealer installed option. Just like it sounds, they send the option ahead of time and the dealer would install those. We have a bunch of them sitting back for vehicles that are in transit right now for vehicles that are coming in. Keep in mind, that might take a little longer for get your vehicle set up because they'll need to, the dealer will need to install these. Ford is adding more and more dealer installed options and as these years now, you know, 23, we noticed that 24, I, as I've been going through a lot of these vehicles, I've noticed more and more dealer installed options, uh, making it a little bit easier to, to produce vehicles at the factory, but then also taking a little longer when the vehicle gets to the dealership. And a lot of these options I'm going to let you know is, Hey, I would, I would leave these off and just keep in mind too, the more of the dealer installed options you have on your order, the longer it's going to take for your vehicle, um, possibly to get scheduled. Right. You want to try to eliminate those because some of these I'll let you know that it, you can add them yourself later. It's real easy to install some of these. So. All right. So now that I've said that little disclaimer there, um, we do have the bed divider here. This uh, bed divider uh, is a dealer installed option. Uh, so this option is not available with your tonneau cover, pickup box cover, the hard or the retractable cover. We're going to talk about in a second. Not available with the pivot storage box or bed extender or the bed mat because it interferes with a lot of those it's going to get some rails on system on the side and it's going to go ahead and ha and it'll slide in there uh for that so that's a pretty cool little bed divider system they've been uh, seeing that on some vehicles uh, but that is a dealer install option dealer will install that when it comes in we do also have tonneau pickup box covers we have a soft folding hard folding and retractable different prices on those there this is something that i would encourage to let your dealership just do may cost a little extra but we've seen because the tonneau covers have to be put on they take them off site and then put them on so because of that it takes a little longer for uh them to be able to, to be able, they can they can only do a certain number usually it's under 10 percent production on those so just keep that in mind right there on those tonneau covers but otherwise uh, those are done at the factory uh but again that's why it takes a little longer so i would try to you know encourage you to, to uh, not do those um, also the bed liners, we got a plastic drop in bed liner as well as a tough spray in bed liner. So the drop in bed liner, that's like kind of the molded in material and such. Um, so you have that also, you do have the, um, spray in bed liner is the little, what a lot of people like. Those are both done at the factory. There are accessories, um, but they're done at the factory, uh, spray and bed liners. I've been able to do those pretty quickly as well as a drop in. So it shouldn't take too long. So you probably could go ahead and put those on your order or just wait and have them do it. They look really cool on the vehicles bed mat bed mat is a dealer installed option. So that's going to be shipped to the dealer. Um, and the dealership would, um, install that in your vehicle and put it in your vehicle. It's a removable bed mat. So a couple of different notes on the bed mat, that bed mat is not available with the drop in liner or the hard or retractable bed covers. 
the sport liner or your bed divider. So keep that in mind if you're looking at the bed mat as an option. And also to note on the plastic drop-in liner, forgot to mention that is not available with your retractable bed cover. So something with the, the, the harnesses and everything like that. And then we do it down here, have the illuminated Ford logo badge. A lot of people are installing these on their vehicles for 2023 model year. It was available in Ford accessories. That is also a dealer installed option. So the dealership would install that. That front badge can be illuminated. So that is an option that you can do. Uh, there you go. Uh, we do have the window uh, air deflectors on the side. So they'll come up on the side. Those are a dealer installed option as well. Um, and uh, shouldn't hold up your build too much, but do keep in mind that the dealer will install that for you. Um, so, and then wheel well liner. So wheel well liner is actually a Ford accessories that they'll put on at the factory. Um, I know that I think it was 22 model year. They actually told dealers to take those off their orders because they couldn't get them scheduled and couldn't put, put in in time. So we'll see, uh, just keep your, keep in mind. And this is sometimes you might add these things and say, hey, I want these and, uh, some of them are factory installed options. Always have the dealership take note of, hey, if yours doesn't get scheduled in a timely manner, you might look because some of these are just things you can just take off your order, have the dealership install them instead. And that could be one of them. The retractable rear center step. This is new for this year. It goes, I like, to the left, I think, of the hitch. Did see this at the auto show. And uh, that's a retractable hitch that comes out in the back uh, and, and it's available. So that is also, I believe that's a... That is a Ford Accessories that's put on at the factory. So um, not too bad uh, having that done. So um, the engine block heater, that is something that is a factory installed option and would be done at the factory. And if you live in a cold weather state, you want to be able to heat that and warm that up a little bit faster, uh, then you can do then engine block heater, something you can add to your vehicle. So um, front and rear molded in splash guards. So those there, those splash guards are a dealer installed option. So the dealership would install those for you. Um, and uh, so that shouldn't hold up. So normally when they do that at the factory, that does hold up builds. But since it's a dealer installed option, it shouldn't. Again, I just encourage you not do too many of the dealer installed options. You know, you're going to just do splash guards or just one or two. Not too bad of a deal. But when you get into too many, it could hold up your build. Wheel lock kit. This is also a dealer installed option. So the dealer will, will take one of your lug nuts off of each wheels. Uh, replace it with a locking one for you. And so that's why it's a deal installed option. Now the paint protective film that is done at the factory, but that uh, is a very low number. So they're going to protect the film they put on the hood, the fenders and such like that. Sometimes the mirrors. Um, and so they will do that at the factory. But again, that's something they take off site. And just like with the bed cover, um, you know, it takes so long to put those on so that because of that, they can only do so many. So the percentage on those is real small. I would encourage you to do this at your dealer or find an Expel dealer close to you and have it done there. So now I want to talk about the 7.2 kilowatt pro power on board because I didn't see that as an option because if you go hybrid, 7.2 is standard equipment on the King Ranch edition. So, and the others, if you go hybrid, you get the 2.4 for the King Ranch. 7.2 kilowatt pro power on board is, is included with your hybrid motor. So um, that's something I wanted to make sure I correct and let you guys know that. So there's no standalone option for that because it's included, which is pretty cool. Now we do have bigger mirrors. If you want the trailer tow mirrors, you can get these power folding, power scope, telescoping with power, heated, turn signal, memory, all the same features as the, as the other mirror. Something to note there that is not available with the hybrid motor for some reason. I'd love an engineer to tell me why, but it's not available with the full hybrid. So just keep that in mind. So it's available on the EcoBoost motor only for that. Um, so there you go. And I believe that's all your exterior options. Move down to the interior. You notice I didn't mention those the two-tone bumpers are going to be included. There's no way to remove them on the King Ranch this year. I don't see chrome bumpers. I don't see that as an option anywhere on the order guide for this year. So wanted to take note of that. You know, in the past you saw a Chrome package or something. I don't see that for this year. So, um, all right, moving down into your options, first aid kit with the Ford logo. That is a factory or that is a dealer installed option. Um, you can get that through Ford accessories and put them in that little bag yourself if you want. Floor liners, that is uh, available for you and uh, not available on the FX4 off-road package because they come with that. 
uh, they would just put that in your vehicle before they ship it out. So floor liner. Still get your regular carpeted mats too. Max recline seat. So 340 for this. This is a standalone option for you. Uh, they made it an option. So that way, if there's any issues with constraints and supply issues and such, then it's real easy to just remove that option off your order. So this, for this year, it's not standard equipment. It's an option on its own that allows you to be able to max recline your seat back to 180, 170 degrees, I think, 180 degrees and lay back and uh, relax. We have this ash cup with a lighter and without the lighter. Yes, they still make that. Uh, that is a standalone option. It's a dealer installed option. So it is uh, shipped to your dealer and the dealer will put it in your vehicle. Make sure if you do order it, that they did slip it in your vehicle for you. Uh, we have the in vehicle safe by console vault. That is a dealer installed option as well. And uh, so the dealership would put that in your vehicle at, at delivery. As you can see, more of these we're adding to the vehicle as dealer installed options. All right, we're seeing a lot of this. Um, it's an easy way for Ford to have the dealerships install them, install some of these things because they can. there's more dealers out there. They can get more of these and produce more vehicles. But also, you know, there's a certain set rate for the dealer, and that's what they get paid on that. Typically, it takes them longer to install it than what they uh, give the dealers, but that's just an inside note. Uh, nothing that affects you guys. So, or Ford. All right. And moving down, we do have the Ford Blue Cruise. This is for three years of service. So if you know you want the Blue Cruise, go ahead and get this ahead of time. Prepay it. It actually saves you some money in the three-year time frame uh, to go ahead and get this ahead of time. So $2,100 gives you the Ford Blue Cruise subscription for three full years for hands-free driving, including your in-lane in reposition and your lane changing. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's also available. And I think that's it. So a couple things to note that they did not include, uh, and one of them is the front license plate bracket. So if you are in a state that requires a front license plate, standard equipment, don't need to worry about it. If you're in a state that doesn't require a front license plate, like Kansas is one of those, um, it's optional equipment for us. So if you're getting a vehicle from us, maybe you're in a state that is, requires a front license plate, um, it's still ordered from us. So we would need to add that as optional equipment. Still no charge option. But we need to make sure you know let us know and that, so we can make sure we add that for you a um, couple other things that are dealer installed options that are left off of the building price here on ford's website one of them is a bed cargo net there's a horizontal one that's not available with your bed divider kit that's kind of going to go on the bottom use those four tie downs to position and, and keep things down so they won't fly out of your bed cargo bed uh, cargo net vertical that's going to use the tie downs on the outside to be able to put that in there so you can put things in there so they won't move around in your truck. So those are also available. Uh, no restrictions on that one. Um, bed hooks retractable by bull accessory. These are black uh, available with your not available with your five and a half foot box. It would just be for your six and a half foot box that is available. And I don't know what that looks like. It doesn't star it. So it must have been available last year. But I don't think I've seen these in person, so can't really help you out on what that is included with that. We do have the foldable pickup box bed extender. This is not available with your retractable bed cover or your bed divider system. And it's going to store behind the wheel well in the back of the, the truck um, back in here. And you can then kind of pull that out, extend it over the bed. Uh, which is real nice. You can also rotate it back inside, shut your bed, and gives you kind of an enclosed area to put, you know, different groceries and different things like that. So that's also a dealer installed option. Uh, and uh, again, not available with your retractable bed cover or your bed divider. We do have the individual tire pressure monitor system with customer place camera. I want to correct this here. So this is not a TPMS. We've been getting these. We got these on 23 as well. We had several customers that ordered this. This is a camera you position, you place yourself on your on your trailer in the back, so you can see behind your trailer. It does not include TPMS sensors. So um, it has not been in any of the boxes on any of our uh, ones that have been delivered to the dealer. Uh, so basically, we would just give that to you for you to be able to place when you need to, to add it. Pivot storage box by undercover, right-hand side. This is not available with your bed divider, bed extender, your hard or retractable bed covers. And uh, this kind of positions on the right side. You swing it out, puts things in there, swing it back, locks into place. Uh, so that is also a dealer installed option. And then your sport liner by bed rug. It's basically a bed rug. So because of that, it's not available with your drop-in bed liner or your spray liner or your bed mat. 
or your bed extender. So that is another option to protect the bottom of your bed. So you do have that bed rug. So there you go. That is all of our standalone options for you there. So, so that's all of our standard equipment, all the different packages available, and some packages are in standard equipment, as well as the different standalone options for you. Hopefully, we did get everything correct here and uh, accurate, and uh, it was uh, helpful to you. If you're wanting to put in an order on a King Ranch, we gave you the information uh, and even gave you some information that's not on the building price right now that hopefully they'll add soon. Uh, so hopefully you guys did find this of value. If you did, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget, order banks are open up right now for the 24 model year. So let me give you some helpful tips if you're going in to place that order with your local dealer. First of all, find out when you place that order, they're going to be able to print off an order sheet for you. So you can see that they got all the options that you wanted, all those optional equipment that I mentioned. Uh, any of those that you choose on that order sheet, and it'll show you that MSRP pricing. Um, so make sure you find out. Also, then at that point, say, okay, now let me, I want to know and when, when that vehicle comes in, what are you going to price it to me? What's that going to be that price off that MSRP price? Are you going to go above, below? What are you going to do? Uh, I'd like to know that ahead of time. Uh, find out what their dealer fee is and anything else they might add to that. Have them put that on a what they call a buyer's order, which is something they have to hand in to Ford anyway uh, as part of the COVP process when they verify that order to Ford. Uh, so you'll, you'll need to sign both of those anyway. Have the dealership sign their that their side as well. That kind of locks them in to making sure that the dealer fee as well as they're not going to add anything extra to that price is also included that. You don't want any 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 anything coming up surprises when you go to get your vehicle when you pick it up. Uh, you might ask them too, hey, what if uh, Ford happens to raise the price? Uh, you're going to still honor this price and Ford will honor it. So hopefully the dealer says, yes, we do. That's called price protection. Uh, you get price protected from the time what the price was when you ordered the vehicle. That's the easiest way to, to simplify that. Um, you take that order sheet. And that is the price it's going to be. If you make any changes to that, it could affect your pricing at that point. If that price increased on the base price, if you make any changes, we'll change that pricing to what it was when you made the changes. You'll have to print a new order sheet for you so you know what those are going to be. So uh, some helpful tips there for you so that way you know what's going on. We are doing $1,000 off of MSRP, so below MSRP for all of ours. If you want to uh, finance a vehicle with us as well, we'll do another $1,000 off of that and give you up to $1,000 of your shipping uh, cost included with that for free. Uh, if you want to fly in and drive your vehicle home, then we'll use that thousand dollars for travel expenses. So you just give us receipts on flights, hotel and gas. Those three things is what we would cover on that. And we'll help uh, help you out with that if you want to make a trip of it. So we have a lot of people doing that as well. So if you want to place an order with us, don't forget information is down below in the description. You can check that out. Um, so hopefully this video helped out. And if you want to uh, place that order, don't forget about letting them know about the YouTube special on that too. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned for others. Make sure you're subscribed. Have that notification turned on. All that good stuff. Smash the like button. And until the next video, uh, stay positive. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. And we'll see you on that next video.